Would you like to open with a statement and then we'll open it up for our friends on Zoom. If you have a question, raise your hand. Well, I just thought it was a really good win for us. I uh, felt like we were waiting forever to play. And um, when first pitch is at 1027, you know you're in for a long night, but um, I was just really proud of how the team fought. Um, I thought Mary was exceptional tonight. It was a very seasoned outing, very veteran outing. Um, and I thought we had a couple of really <laughs> long balls out that uh, were great. Um, so just really glad with the, with the win tonight. Any questions from Big Trail Nation? Good morning, guys. Um, Alyssa yeah. Orange here with you. Uh, Courtney, I'll start with you. I know with this game, uh, emotionally being so late, such a late start to this game, you play and turn around again in a couple hours to play this afternoon. And so what is the priority with rest with this team? Well, we need to get them some food. <laughs> so uh, we got to get them some food in their stomachs and then get them to bed. Um, so we'll sleep in. We have time. We, um, I don't think we play the second game. I don't even know when we play. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Um, so we have some time. We have time to sleep in. We have time to um, get ready for tomorrow. Hey, Lenny, I have a question. You told our CJ Macklin a couple weeks ago that you always look at a spot on your bat and you sing a song in your head before you step into the box. I saw you do, well, I saw you look at a spot on your bat. What song were you singing in your head when you hit home run number 20? Uh, Boogie Shoes. <laughs> One of my walk-up songs. And I kind of sing it in the box, or I'll whistle it in the box now too. You know, helps. <laughs> what did that feel like? I know that 20 plus was a goal for you. You now have 48 for your career. What was that moment like for you? Uh, super special and just knowing that it was out from right off the bat was even more special and I could celebrate a little early so that was cool and my last question is for Mary how special was it for you to to pitch a shutout game uh, in your home state with your parents in the stands yeah it meant a lot um, being able to have my family here um, they make as many games as they can but being so close I was able to have my brother here and just have my whole family come out so it was really special and um, just really special for this team, and we're excited for tomorrow. Ladies, coach, congratulations. Thank you. Get some sleep. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Justin? Yeah, I want to start with Courtney. Can you tell me about the decision to start Mary tonight? What went into that? Um, what, you, what, what your pitching philosophy was coming in, I guess? Well, Mary was lights out when we, when we played Ole Miss during the season, yeah. um, and she's been pitching really well and just felt like it was the right – yeah, right decision to give her the ball. I think it worked out pretty well. And then Mary, for you, did you expect to get the ball tonight? And when you found out you were, what was your mindset going into the game? Um, I mean, I feel like I kind of expected to go, um, you know, we're expecting to go all the way and, you know, you can't just rely on one person the whole way. So the fact that I was able to pitch tonight and really give Shanice the rest that she needs um, to pitch her best, pitch her best tomorrow against Florida uh, meant a lot. So yeah, I was ready for whatever um, Coach G wanted me to do, and that's how we've been the whole year. Um, and then, Courtney, again, I know you're a pitching coach. You've got two really solid pitchers that are performing at the best time at the highest level. What does that do for you, and what kind of confidence does that give you going forward, knowing that you've got an ace on the left and an ace on the right? Well, it feels okay. I mean, it gives us a lot of confidence, it gives me a lot of confidence. It gives them a lot of confidence. Um, we've had a lot of confidence all, in them all year. So that hasn't changed. And, and that's where it's really nice tonight because uh, we, I just felt like we made some really great contact and it wasn't falling. And in a night like, to, like tonight, you need a pitcher that's going to shut them down. Um, and, and we, we definitely have that. So we all have a ton of confidence in our, in our staff. Um, so yeah, it feels, it feels good. <laughs> and, and then I guess for either of the players, um, you know, you've, you've played Florida in Gainesville already this year, you came out on top. What, what does that, how does that series play in to your preparation for tomorrow? Does it come in at all? Um, I mean, I think we do, um, we know we could beat them clearly. Yeah. Um, I think they're a different team than what we played, um, them a couple weeks ago with Hannah Adams back. Um, we got to have our a game. Like I said, they're a completely different team. They have really 
good momentum right now in the box. So um, we're gonna have to pitch our best at our best. And um, I think we'll end up on top. That's what she said. <laughs> Thanks.